what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this past thursday jordan peele revealed to us horror fans fans of jordan peele in general i guess if you're just someone who watches his horror films and nothing else he revealed to us that the title of his upcoming film that he's been working on is nope and it's coming out july 22nd of 2022 that part we kind of known, have known about but we didn't know any plot specifics we didn't know the title we have had some rumors about the cast and that's now officially been confirmed with the very first poster that jordan peele revealed to us via his twitter this past thursday actually i'm just realized he revealed it a a literal whole one year before the film's release so the poster is very interesting uh, in the poster we have confirmed now these names that a lot of us have been speculating on we know that daniel kalua will be in the film kiki palmer had already been confirmed i believe earlier in the year so this only re um submits her participation in the film and then you have steven aka glenn from the walking dead steven young or you however you pronounce his last name i'm sure i'm pronouncing it wrong but i just wanted to share my thoughts on what i think is happening with this film as you, if you saw in the thumbnail we're going to be talking about the pill universe and what i think is happening with these movies that he's doing now i do want to just start out by saying that i know get out was like his breakthrough film jordan peele definitely surprised me with that because i grew up watching key and peele in high school late middle school <laughs> definitely watched key and peele so then when i saw the trailer for get out i was kind of floored by that trailer and then the then i saw the movie and i'm like whoa he 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 actually really did that he he went out of his out of his comedic at his comedic element and he gave you some satirical notes of course were featured in get out and in us but when it comes time for the the hardcore thriller and horror aspects of it he put on a, a film that's very terrifying for some people if you want to just be honest some people probably found this a lot more terrifying than others the subject matter and the social commentary that it deals with uh, of course related to some of the things going on in america today and just how some of the social climates continue to change and how they're not really changing some people are kind of masking their um, hatred for others etc etc all that stuff is kind of touched on with these movies we know that in get out spoilers ahead i guess if you haven't seen get out has been out for about four years now at this point but in that film we know that we're dealing with the order of coagula and they're wanting to mess with black bodies because they feel that blacks have the genetic advantage and they're trying to achieve immortality and take that genetic advantage that they feel they should have because they again feel that blacks have the genetic advantage and in their eyes they don't see themselves as being racist because of that because they are putting black bodies on a pedestal they have some type of sick fetish for the black body <laughs> this stems of course from some olympic competition that happened regarding i'm forgetting his name but it's an actual an actual person but i'm forgetting his name some olympic competition where the grandfather had felt that he lost because the black guy had the genetic advantage and that's where this whole thing started from now the order of coagula we know that this is a order that goes beyond this family that we saw the armitage family that we saw there's other people we saw them there at the auction trying to auction for chris's body and everything that goes into chris and these other people that were there with them trying to get trying to uh, bid on chris so we know that there's more than just the armitage family but we don't really get to see that aspect of it because those people are gone by the end of the film once we get into the final act i'm leaning towards the idea that maybe nope is somehow a continuation to get out because of the fact that we don't know too much he's being very tight-lipped about the plot daniel kalua is back that's the really the only solid proof that we have that this is tied to get out or could potentially be tied to get out daniel kalua could of course just be back playing a different character and also on top of that if he is in fact returning to play chris kiki palmer could be his girlfriend and then the poster in and of itself it looks like it's reminding me of movies like the blob and invasion of the body snatchers honestly those are the first two movies that i thought of but let's say that that's just nothing more than just a metaphor for something else that's going on in the film there's no actual aliens going on but maybe the order of coagula is up to no good and this in this little town that it looks like they have going on in this poster this is where more members of the order order of coagula have gone to 
to now get Chris and his girlfriend who now live in this little area. They've tracked him down and they're going to come for Chris and they are going to take what they want from Chris at another bid that they are going to have somewhere else outside of this town after they abduct him once again. But the other thing to consider, of course, is the idea that we're dealing with an alien horror movie from Jordan Peele. So the reason I'm leaning on this shared cinematic universe is because of an interview that he had back with Kevin McCarthy back when Get Out had first come out. He stated that he put some he put some Easter eggs in there and he'll probably continue to weave in the universe in his next movie. So the, the word universe is the thing to hold on to there. That's where I'm getting my idea that he's trying to create some sort of shared universe. Daniel Kaluuya being back again doesn't mean that he can't come back and play a different character. But, you know, if you're really if you really are doing a shared universe, I feel like a lot of people would find it bizarre to have the same actor playing a different character in what's supposed to be a shared universe. Not that that's not possible, because, again, this is movie magic, suspension of disbelief. But Daniel Kaluuya being back is giving me some inclination or ideas that Chris is somehow involved with the movie. Nope. And we're going to catch up with Chris, maybe catch up with the Order of Coagula and maybe even take it a bit further as to the stuff that not only the Order of Coagula is doing, but other people affiliated with them are doing as it relates to maybe racial tensions in in this country or other stuff that's going on. There's sure to be some type of social commentary, obviously, with Jordan Peele once again, just like he had it with us. I don't think this movie will be connected to us. I think the shared universe that he's going to be trying to create or start out with will be tying this movie to get out i don't think he's going to tie it to us there might be nods to us but i don't think us will necessarily be a part of this shared universe that i feel like is going to start with the movie nope that's one idea because with us things just became too complicated things just became too complicated too messy not a lot of things were very coherent there but with get out there was more so just things that were left unanswered that i feel like if he's taking that route with nope will get answered and expand on the order of coagula but let me know what you guys think about jordan peele's upcoming film down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video